What's up guys, the Airsoft Tech here. So today I'm gonna talk about um, AliExpress for um, Airsoft parts, right? Um, because, you know, I've seen a lot of great stuff in there, you know, uh, super cheap and all that stuff. And price, you know, are crazy right now in Canada. So, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, I should give it a chance, you know, and see what it is all about and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so uh, a couple of things are really good, you know, like what you will expect and you know I found uh, one thing that is a complete ripoff so you know I'm just gonna talk about it um, you know just to make sure um, you know you're not doing the same mistake as me <laughs> but you know it was pretty much a test and I was pretty sure you know everything was crap and um, yeah like I said you know a lot of stuff are good so uh, first of all let's start with the SHS bearing and bushing and all that stuff um, this is you know like basically what you could expect from um, if you buy some uh, SHS you know those are real SHS all that stuff so that's a win you know those were like I think around four bucks each um, you know in Airsoft are right here you know you pay for around 15 bucks for that so that was good um, the spring you know you have some SHS and you have some uh, military reaction and those are you know like basically um, the quality you want you know those are a really good spring uh, the design is a little bit you know uh, different uh, one is longer one is more shorter and more compact you know, and all that stuff but, um, you know those are good SHS and military reaction um, I've tried them, I've tried one uh, M120 in my gun and um, you know perfectly fine and all that stuff so um, that's really good of course the SHS is a little bit more compact so you know if you don't have a QD spring uh, gearbox um, you know this this is uh, easier to fit in so that's one thing so yeah that that um, the piston so, you know, I, I've seen uh, some SHS piston and all that stuff, was lightweight and all that stuff. Uh, and I was like, yeah, you know, those guys are hard to find, first of all, in Canada. And, um, you know, when, when you can find them, they are, like, crazy high price, you know, like, 25 bucks or some shit. And that was 4 bucks. And it is basically, you know, like, a really nice uh, SHS piston, super solid, you know. And, um, and I... Uh, buy some that they say it's 13.6 feet so I don't know if you can see it but you know um, basically this is already you know like airy corrected because that one is shorter so you know I think that's super cool you know and um, you know, four bucks for that that was a super good deal um, another thing I wanted to check um, because right here what you can find most of the time are um, ZCI uh, trigger contact and um, you know for some reason sometimes they don't work well with um, the cutoff lever or you know the trigger I don't know but um, sometimes they don't work well that's that's pretty much it so and um, those looks like they are you know like some legit um, SHS too so that's really cool um, and if they are not, I mean, those guys looks to work pretty well. And you have the anti heat. Uh, if you have a anti heat selector plate, you know you have the, the stuff to put in. So that's pretty cool too. Um, <coughs> doesn't come with uh, the plate to put in, but you know, though, so those are uh, really good too. Those were around same thing, four to five bucks. Um, so that's really cool. And um, that's another thing I buy. That's a piston head cylinder head kit. And um, just by seeing the cylinder head, you know, and uh, the pad in there and all that stuff, I can already tell you that's SHS. That's really the same thing, same color, everything. Um, so, you know, this is super quality. And it's the same for the piston head, you know. So all aluminium, you have your 
you know, rubbing in there and all that stuff. A nice hole in there. So that should work pretty well too. So that's a win that was around um, I think uh, if I remember correctly because I, I bought two. One was in sale uh, when I buy it. It was like 12 bucks, 12.5 bucks. And um, like I said, every price are in Canada. So, you know, in your country, you have to check. But And after that, I buy uh, <clears throat> two other kits, but they were like uh, 14 bucks. So, you know, that that's really good because, you know, just one of them uh, here in Canada costs that much. So, that's good. And another thing really good I found is um, the motor um, too. You know, mine was a little bit cheap and all that stuff, but this is just you know like you can you can kill somebody with that. It's super heavy, you know. It's real metal. It's not cheap aluminium or some shit like that. Um, so you know that's really good and it looks well put together. The only thing is you know you have that crazy amount of factory grease in there you know, even in that thing i don't know if you can see it but there's a crazy amount of uh, factory grease and <coughs> you know i talked to a guy uh, one day you know and he was uh, importing stuff and all that stuff and i talked to him a little bit and he said um sometimes you know that's just because they don't want um everything that's that uh, contains uh, steel and all that stuff to just um uh, you know start to rust over the season all that stuff because you know um they are in big ship you know big uh, container ship and they are in salt water for you know like a couple of time so you know they just don't want it to rust so you know they kind of not just clean them and even sometimes put the that grease you know by themselves just to make sure it doesn't rust so, you know that's a really interesting uh, point and I've seen some SHS I talk so that's where things go down and there was three sellers right one was a uh, you know that motor that that one and all that stuff and um, they have this pick sheet and all that stuff so I buy one from each seller right and they all the same and one even in the um, and the description you know in the photo that was green and you know all that stuff and you know those are basically the same thing and um, you know I can spin that thing you know like super easy so the magnet in there are absolutely crap and as you can see you know it's SHS I torque all that stuff you know they are really good yeah sure but you know those are basic motor you know like probably um, the same shit as you have already in your AEG so that was a rip off you know but you know a good i talk motor uh, here in canada it's like 60 bucks and up right so you know i was like yeah at around uh, 15 to 18 bucks you know that was a uh, no question i need to check that out because you know and i was high because you know i ordered something i tried to receive thing you know and i was like yeah, everything is good you know and all that stuff um, and there's a little bit more play than you see normally um, in the shaft uh, compared to some other good quality motor and one thing I discovered is on the bottom all of them are what it's called Shaoli motor so you know i'm not gonna disassemble it disassemble it and all that stuff but you know i can already tell you that's not a high torque and you know the magnet are you know like super weak you know this is this is a magnetic head in there and you know i cannot even move it you know like this is super weak. so just by comparison this is a real zci high torque motor all right the life like I said, you know, the I pay uh, around 60 bucks and you know, just turning the head is, it's not the same thing. You can almost hear the click. So, you know, uh, and if you look at the cavity and the weight too, man, the weight is like, yeah. 
Ja, dat heb ik. En, you know, als je talk about mij niet. Right? En, you know, it's sticking there, right? It doesn't move. So, you know, uh, that's what a real R torque motor should do. So, yeah, those, those, um, those motors are not a thing to uh, buy in there. And as you can see, you know, there's no movement in the shaft. So, you know, if you want to adjust your motor height, you know, you have always that plate that kind of comes in, which is not a good thing. And if that thing was not in there, I'm pretty sure it, I can just, you know, like, get it out of there. So, yeah, that's not, uh, that's not great, but, you know, um, so anyway, for a motor, you know, just, just buy a good quality motor, you know, don't try uh, to buy it on those, uh, AliExpress and stuff and all that, you know, um, all those things that I, I, um, I tested all good except the motor, you know, don't buy a motor on AliExpress, um, those are not good. And, um, you know, this, oh yeah, right, I forget something. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty cool, right? So that's gonna be for another video, but that was pretty good too. You know, you want a good ETU, and you don't want a fucking stupid sticker in there. This is a good one. So, like I said, that's gonna be for another video, but um, yeah. was a good a good buy too for the price it was pretty good so i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff and i hope you have a great day that was the airsoft tech and i'll catch you in the next one